Okay, hi, my name's Toby Shea. I'm the president of the British Barbecue Society. Um, we set up the Barbecue Society just over two years ago um, to promote low and slow barbecue uh, in a very similar fashion to the Kansas City Barbecue Society. We follow the same set of rules. Um, in our first uh, uh, ever event, we only had five teams, but that's now grown to about 14 average per competition. Um, we've got a free-to-use forum as well, and we don't sell anything, we don't promote any items, so we're there to offer genuine advice to uh, anyone in the UK that wants information on barbecue. Uh, our membership's made up of uh, various people. Uh, they're not any, they don't use any particular brand of cooker, so you can get advice on pellet cookers, you can get advice on uh, Webers or ProQs or Traegers, anything at all. Um, so we're completely independent, which makes us different from uh, anything else in the UK. We're um, uh, over here competing at the Royal for our second year. Um, the team that we bring over this year consists of seven people and um, they're all from different teams in the UK. So it's a way of expanding the knowledge and giving people experience and to see exactly what's involved in an American competition. Oh right, okay, sorry. Um, each, each, each team member over here um, all from completely different backgrounds. We've got some people that work in IT, um, some people are electricians, um, I obviously run the society. Um, you know, it's various walks of life and barbecue is something that's brought us together. Absolutely, it's completely mutual. So it's, um, we've always got something in common. And when we had the first competition, people uh, didn't know what to expect. They thought, you know, they'd look at a website, I've seen a competition taking place, it's going to cost us £150. Are we sure about sending £150 to someone and we don't actually know what we're going to get involved with? But um, it's, it's been really positive and I would think all of us would agree that we've made a great bunch of friends as well as, uh, you know, kept the competitive edge and nature of barbecue. So, um, yeah, it's, it's great, it's great. It's, uh, it's been a, a, a privilege to meet all the people over here in the States. We get an awful lot of support from the guys here. Um, we, I cook at home on uh, a Fast Eddie. Uh, FEC 100, Fast Eddie, uh, um, Eddie Moran and uh, Stuart Powell have been kind enough to lend us equipment for this. Um, if it wasn't for people like them, um, then we wouldn't be able to do this. So, you know, uh, it's, it's just a great sense of community and that's what barbecue is all about. And, uh, we are a grand champion. Um, it's actually going to the Jack Daniels. So uh, a chap called John Hargates uh, from Barbecue Shack. Um, he won a series of competitions. We sent a, cha a British champion to the Jack Daniels last year as well, and um, hopefully this uh, relationship will continue in the future. So if we can secure the Jack Daniels every year for our uh, overall winner, and if we can use the Royal, both the Invitational and the Open, um, uh, for experience and to um, develop barbecue and make, raise awareness of it, then, you know, it's, it's a great combination for us. Been trained how to do. How many slabs you got on there? There's 100 slabs of ribs. Top and bottom. Yep, 50 on top, 50 on the bottom. Button it up. Okay. How long do you cook them? We're going to cook them four and a half, five hours. Get them up to 185 degrees internal. Pellets? Hickory pellets. Got the wham seasoning on them. And then we're going to finish them on the grill, let that seasoning caramelize a little bit, slice and serve them to the customer. How many pounds of pellets to take to cook that many ribs? Eh, about four and a half, five pounds. That's all? Yeah. Very efficient cooker there. Yeah, oh, that wham pellet fire, there's nothing better. Built to last, too. And y'all sell these to the commercial trade? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my uncle builds them down in Memphis. What's he get for them? Uh, pretty decent price compared to everybody else. The commercial cooker is right around 13 five. That's all? Yes, sir. I What's think he needs to look at that price, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I think he's leaving money on the table. How does somebody find him? Uh, just go to willinghams.com. Okay.